Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Mark Brooks and today is Astronomy Day, April uh, 29th, 2023, which uh, is being held uh, by the Clovis New Mexico Astronomy Club at the Clovis Carver Library here in Clovis, New Mexico. We'll be viewing the sun, but not like this. We'll be viewing it through telescopes uh, equipped with solar filters for safe eye viewing. So that you do not want to look directly at the sun. So the solar filters will make it safe to view the sun while preserving your eye safety. We'll also be viewing the moon, but not like this with it uh, orbiting your head. It's another TikTok filter or effect. But we'll be viewing the moon through telescopes, just like we did in the sun, without these filters, of course, solar filters. And so we we're expecting a good sized turnout, and these will be a start to our uh, uh, astronomy yes, activity season this year. So let's go ahead and go to the library parking lot and start the action. Today is Astronomy Day here at the Clovis Carver Library here in Clovis, New Mexico. Here in the parking lot is the Clovis New Mexico Astronomy Club is setting up a set up telescope so we can view the sun. We have some visitors present. We have two telescopes set up here. This one, of course, has a solar filter on the top for viewing safety and a camera and a yes. Uh, the back end. Yeah, the, uh, the image of the sun is being uh, projected onto a, uh, a laptop screen showing a variety of sunspots. We'll get closer and take a look at these sunspots. It's hard to see us, huh? What do you want me to do? Bill? I can zoom it out or zoom it in. Well, I can see them down here. Yeah, the black spots on the screen. Those are sunspots. It's hard to see with direct sunlight shining. Okay, this scope does not have a camera. It's just simply... Uh, you view directly into it. It has a uh, solar filter on the end of it for viewing safety. Let's see what we get. Let's see if we can get an image of the sun here. We got the show. Well, right there, an image of the sun, but just can't see the sun spots shining on it. Okay, this activity started at 10 o'clock, and uh, we'll be here until. Uh, at 12, so maybe we'll have some more visitors show up. We'll see them, we'll see. And then later on tonight, we'll be back here to uh, view the moon, and maybe some deep space objects. So they'll be coming up in this video. Back at the library, it's up for part two of Astronomy Day. This time we'll be viewing the moon. So here it's just, just a now sunset, skies are darkening. And we have a crowd of people out here who are coming out to get their views of the moon. Yeah, the whole idea is, wow, hey look, this is not the same guy, same, same yeah, guy. Very good view of the uh, moon there. Yeah. He, the laptop screen. Really you know, when you read the book, they talk like about, 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 about this, this, uh, uh, this mother sitting here, area right here. You know, you free of tranquility for the Apollo uh, missions landed back in yeah, late 60s, that. early 70s. I mean, Here we'll look at the other uh, telescope and see this image. Another image of the moon. What's neat about that? 
Click on a There's a close image. Like this crater here. And it'll identify the crater. It will tell you its the size. size. Like this one, that one. Yeah, 13 miles. And yeah, it's pretty cool. That's awesome. Yeah. It's, and that's, it's great. I'm not sure if the phone app is because I've had it for so long. Here we have a third telescope. When you directly view into the uh, telescope, you don't view uh, on a laptop screen. We have a few uh, visitors here who are taking turns to get through the views. Yep. The moon has passed a First quarter and almost straight ahead. The people are getting a direct view into this telescope as well. Of course, this telescope also has the camera for viewing a laptop. Of course, both these two telescopes are self-tracking. They don't need to be manually uh, readjusted like this one has to be. So. Okay, here we're trying to get a camera view through the telescope. You can move that chair out of the way just to... Is that a This? Yes. Not really. I mean, it it, looks, it's what, yeah, well, it's a cousin. Steady, steady, steady. steady. Oh, very nice. You told me about that last time. Yeah. And um, what I like about the tail rabbit. Yeah, very good view. Is, is that. <laughs> yeah, very steady view of the moon on this uh, laptop screen. Telescope does a very good job of keeping itself uh, tracking on the tracking on the object it's on. Oh, we got another group with a uh, bringing their own telescope. Uh oh, adds more to the fun of the party. It looks like, looks like another telescope would be set up here. <laughs> we got one, two, three, four. Looks like we got five telescopes. Being set up, and yeah, we got a, one, two, yeah, this more visitors showing up. Yep. Good turnout. Yeah, and Venus is showing up in the sky. Yeah, it's just barely showing. Yeah, just in the center of the screen, you can see a little white dot. That is Venus. And of course, when it gets very dark, uh, we'll be able to see Mars almost straight overhead in the constellation Gemini, the twins. Another fancy looking scope being set up here. Thank you.
Yeah. That has an equatorial mount. Yeah. yeah. It looks it's like a, wood. It's a very good one too. Yeah, it's so like yours and Roy's is. Get a little closer view of the moon. Yeah. yeah. On the screen. Showing much detail. See those very fine small craters that even show up on this. This will conclude this video of this uh, Astronomy Day recording at the Columbus Carver Library. A very good, successful turnout. We had Five telescopes brought out, good sized crowd. Okay. So, I hope, hope you appreciate, hope you uh, enjoyed watching it. And starting next month, May through September, we'll have our monthly star parties at both uh, Ned Hack Park, north of Clovis, and at Oasis State Park, just north of Portales. I'll be there recording videos and uh, posting here on my YouTube channel, so look forward to seeing them. Thanks for watching.